Ezekiel chapter 10 is a continuation of the vision Ezekiel had, starting in chapter 8, and it's complicated. There's a blue throne sitting upon crystal above the cherubim. And the cherubim, these angelic beings, well, listen to this. Their flapping wings sounded like the voice of God. They're standing, but they have wheels, and between the wheels are live coals of burning fire. They must be mag wheels because they sparkle, and each wheel has another wheel within it that turns crosswise. And it seems this wheel arrangement is so that the cherubim can move in any direction, facing in whatever direction they're moving in. I mean, this is bizarre stuff. But in the peculiarity of this chapter, there's also a simple message. God's visible presence is withdrawn from the temple in Jerusalem. And this had to be disturbing to the nation of Israel because never before had they seen God's presence with them as conditional. The Hebrews had become used to the idea that God's presence was with them and that he was always on their side. But now they were confronted with the reality that the presence of the Lord was officially vacating the temple domain. Now, what's that have to do with you and I today? Well, I would say, especially in the Deep South, or the Bible Belt as it's called, It's not uncommon to run into someone who claims to be a believer because of some kind of encounter with God in their past. Maybe they felt God's presence in a church service, or they got baptized or sprinkled as a child, or even had a health issue that was miraculously cured. And because of that, they still believe that God is with them in spite of living in a clearly ungodly way. Many in our culture today say they are Christian, but are spiritually empty, lacking a personal relationship with the living God. So here's the message for you and I from Ezekiel 10. Don't let spiritual apathy rob you of God's presence through a personal relationship with Jesus. Scripture says, draw close to God and he'll draw close to you. Abide in Jesus, and Jesus will abide in you. If you feel disconnected, you probably are. So turn back to the Lord today and experience His good, pleasing, and perfect will for your life. Mm